did it. Which one of you did it? Which detective was it? <laughs> it doesn't even matter what I'm referring to. Because it's all of you. You're, you're just all doing the most. What is it? This is British music, okay? I literally searched British. <laughs> uh, I can't make this up. <laughs> the royalty free soundtrack said this is British music. So that's what you've been enjoying during the spill. So welcome on in everyone. Welcome to British music. Are there any Brits in the chat? Where are you? Oh, we're, we're frozen. We're definitely frozen. That's cool. Hold on. Hello? <laughs> no. We're broken. Hold on. Canceled. Wow, YouTube like is like, why are they so glitchy? This keeps happening. It's literally stuck from before. Yeah, if your chat isn't working, it's okay. It's like all of YouTube. Okay, I'm just gonna read old chats then. Scunthorpe is a place. Me. I wasn't there in the place where she died, I promise. Jolly good day, simply. Nikado is too much. Hello, Christine. Hello, Jennifer with no eye. That's it. That's all we have today. <laughs> Why is it broken? No! Um, Ben, is yours broken too? Is, is it just like me? Do I need to do a hard reset? God, God damn it. The chat was murdered. We barely started. It was seven past five and everyone died. Qu'est-ce que fuck? <laughs> I feel like I'm all alone now. It's just like old times. It's broken for Ben too, okay. It's broken for everyone. Don't worry, we're all just broken inside. Oh, no. <laughs> Are we back? It's back? Okay, and we're back. Testing, testing. Hello. Okay, we're back. We're back, baby. Chat, guess who's back? Back again. Chat is back. Tell a friend. Chat is back. Chat is back. Chat is back. <laughs> chip, chip, cheerio. Okay, well, come on in. I just got my anniversary collection in Canada. Wow, Sunny, that's so quick. Damn. Yeah, the warehouse was has been moving. Shouts out to the warehouse. They've been moving. Where is da cats? Uh, da cats are downstairs. Narnia music? Yeah, it's kind of giving me a headache. Let's uh, let's change it. Retro music, anyone? <laughs> I am going on a holiday. I can't get that out of my head. Okay, let's just put on normal stream music for now. Love the cat ears. Thank you, Melon. Welcome on in to the mods and the Mench Gang members and the gamers in the chat and the Hollow Taco detectives who are trying to look at my middle nail. I'm wearing my favorite topper. It's called World's First. I'll bring my, I'll bring my friends. I'm loving that retro playlist you made, thanks. I wish we could listen on stream. But it's not copyright free, you know? It's not free, it's jail. I will go to jail. So I've seen so many people already get their collection. I'm just like, what? Like it's amazing, it's really good. But like also please know that it still may take up to eight to 10 business days for all orders to be fulfilled. But it's amazing to see people already get them because the warehouse started shipping on Saturday. And I guess USPS, whatever in America is doing the most. So that's good. <clears throat> that's great. We love that. Can you react to TikToks? 
Ben, wrong channel. What what are you doing? Whose stream do you think this is? <laughs> What's going on? What is happening? Ah! My mouse broke. Hello from Australia. Good day, mate. Have you heard of LA Noir? I can't do an Australian accent. LA Noir, I feel like you'd enjoy that game. Uh, someone mentioned that a, a while ago. I feel like we looked at it. It was on a list of things we looked at at some point. Jody, just got my retro collection today. Can't wait to paint and game today. Everything is amazing. Literally this collection hit it out of the park. Thank you so much. <laughs> Thank you. I love seeing everyone's reactions and they're just like, I just opened it and I knew it was a VHS, but I'm still impressed. <laughs> It's amazing. I love seeing your guys' reactions. So excited for the new collection. I appreciate it a lot as a 90s kid, and I'm happy to have been here for 20 months. Woo! Thank you, Laurel. Reacting to Banerjee. Yeah, Ben has the most iconic Banerjee. We actually made a TikTok of his nails. He hasn't seen it. He doesn't know. He doesn't go there anyway, so he'll never see it. Um, but yeah, shout out to hollow taco for you know and the team thinking of funny things to put ban in don't worry ben it's not your face it's your nails and you already approved all the assets no it's done approvals have been sent you cannot retract it's irrevocable <laughs> irrevocable approvals of ben <laughs> in any tiktok we want with your nails <laughs> we own it now <laughs> Yeah, we saw the Barbie movie. Did I mention this? We saw Barbie. Hi, Barbie. Hi, Ken. I'm just Ken. Anywhere else I'd be a 10. Anyways, I... It was it was good. It was good. I, why did that sound like a question? I was like, it was good? Question mark? <laughs> it was fun. I liked it. Yeah, okay, no spoilers. Calm, calm, calm down, everybody. Does it... Is Barbie like the kind of movie that you're worried about being spoiled? I don't know, you know what I mean? But I'm not as sensitive to spoilers as other people are. I love spoilers, like give me all the information up front, please. <laughs> but I just didn't get the impression that like Barbie is like one you're like really like, no, don't spoil Barbie. Like, okay, it's, it's a fucking, you know what I mean? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> it's not like finding out what happens in Lost, you know what I mean? <laughs> Anyways, we saw Barbie and we're gonna see Oppenheimer. And that's why we didn't podcast last Tuesday, because we were gonna we're gonna see both of them. And then the next podcast, which will be next Tuesday, so like almost a week from now, we will discuss our thoughts on both of them because everyone's kind of talking about the juxtaposition of them, even though they have like nothing to do with each other. They just happen to be released on the same weekend and now are both majorly benefiting from the cross promotion and the memes. But uh, yeah, I don't know. We'll, we'll do a Barbenheimer themed podcast because it's fun and it's an excuse to go see movies. Oppenheimer is good, but it's long. Yeah, very different movie, obviously. Haven't seen it yet, but I'm interested to see it. I liked the actor. I remember him from like a superhero movie. Was it Batman? Cillian Murphy? Wasn't he like Sandman? Or I can't remember. Not Sandman. Something. He, he always plays like an evil character. Hello, Simply. Today's my 27th birthday. Happy birthday, Anna. Happy to spend it watching the stream. Can't wait to get my anniversary collection. Get here on Friday. It's coming. I am Knuff. Sweater is on sale. We need it. I am Benuff. That's hard to say. Like, it doesn't like flow that well. <laughs> or like Ben. Ben should have a shirt that says, I'm just Ben. <laughs> I think it's so cute. <laughs> With like a picture of a chickpea. I'm so hype you're playing Contradiction. I hope you like it. Yes, that's what we're doing today in a minute. I'm loving everything you're doing, Chris. And I love the cat ears. Where did you get them? Thank you, Kate. I think someone sent these to me. Yeah, this is a rare one that I didn't buy in like a 50 pack on Amazon. I'm pretty sure someone sent these, me, these to me like seven years ago. Oh my God, I bought a super chat without rating anything. What? 
Here goes my second try. Oh no, Susan, refund it. Hello from London. Hello. Still waiting for Christine to play Disco Elysium. What is that? Is that like dancing? Probably not. It's fine. Did you wear pink? I, I mean, I had my Skittle Manny on, so Life in Plastic was on my middle nail. Now it's not. I'm just Ben would be hilarious. I know, right? Like, we need to get on that. Ben off. That's Ben off. <laughs> Isn't that Batman? <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> I saw a post that said something about how Barbie and Oppenheimer not being turned to turned against each other but being embraced together shows that the world is healing oh yeah that's why the world is definitely healing <laughs> got that energy. just don't take contradiction too seriously it's more than a little stupid oh i'm i'm aware i can tell from like two seconds in on the in the trailer i was like I see what kind of game this is and I would like to play. <laughs> I understand. <laughs> Hello, Simply from the UK. Hello, Angel. 20 months, 20 months? I've been streaming for 20 months. Time flies, loving everything you're doing. Thank you, so excited to get my collection. Also, I got a new kitten, Bella. Oh, congrats, that's so cute. Little Bella. Cillian Murphy is the reason my nephew is called. To, I don't even know if I'm pronouncing his name correctly. Like I could be wrong. Is it Cillian or is it Killian or is it Cillian or is it? I don't know. I just say Cillian because it has a C, but then you'd think that'd be spelled with an S. Like silly. Hi from Sweden. Hello, it's my 30th on Saturday and my Holo Taco birthday present order to myself arrived yesterday. Thank you for making awesome polishes. You're welcome, cat. A hard C, same as your name. Okay, so I said it right. Right? It's a hard K? Uh-oh, chat can't. Chat doesn't know what it is. <laughs> it's pronounced Killian. Okay, it is a K. It's what's a hard C? <laughs> what, wait, what? <laughs> What's a hard C? <laughs> like, <laughs> what? <laughs> I actually don't understand. What is a hard What's a hard C? Killian. Kill, Killian. Kill him. Kill him. It's pronounced <laughs> like kill him. Got it. <laughs> it's pronounced silly munchkins. S <laughs> silly munchkins for life, Ian. <laughs> Of course. <laughs> Twenty ones. Thank you, Elsa. Patiently waiting, but for now, I have I am Knuff nails. That's cute. Hard C is a K sound. Then why don't they just say it's a K? <laughs> like what? <laughs> what? A hard C is a K. Who decided this? I don't understand how like these rules are established. Why don't they just say it's a K sound? That'd be a much simpler logic. Why does he spell his name wrong? I don't know. I mean, like, I'm I'm not one to question all the Christines with an H spelling their name wrong. Thank you, Ashley, for the super chat. Got my collection box yesterday right after finishing my fresh purple Manny, so had to add some anti-hero just to experience it. Happy stream day. Yes, people are layering them over, layering the jellies. I have to, I have a couple shorts coming that'll show like what we did kind of on stream. Um, and yeah, working on that. In retrospect, I should have filmed more stuff for Hollow Tacos channels like while I was in macro swatching mode and I try and, you know, get do everything at the same time with the same lighting and the same shot. But like, there was just so much to film. Like I already had filmed a couple shades over white. Um, so also filming them over black and also filming them blending more than just the one nail art I did was, was like a lot. But in retrospect, like, yeah, I wish I had, I wish I could add a couple weeks into the calendar year just like inject them and then expand my ability to show more combos <laughs> retroactively. <laughs> Do 
you have your tea. Because you're going to need tea tonight, this morning, this afternoon, whatever time it is for you. Tea time. I'm drinking chocolate tea. Well, not really. It's um, mint tea. I'm, I'm like trying to show you. <laughs> Look at my tea. <laughs> what? It's a uh, mint tea with chocolate oat milk. Someone asked if I peeled the bookmark. We already peeled both of them. Hello, I'm so hyped for the collection. Thank you, Black Cat. My nails got a little brittle. Would soaking them in oil help? Yes, soak them in oil and put on gloves. Get um, plastic, plastic, latex gloves, like uh, what you were buying at the beginning of COVID, like those kinds of gloves. <laughs> like maybe you still have them lying around. <laughs> wear just like latex gloves, soak them in oil, and then wear that for like an hour and it'll really soak in while your nails are naked. That's what I do sometimes. Hello, long time watcher, first time super chatting. It's a member chat. I'm currently on my way to Ottawa from Toronto. This stream will help pass the long drive. Oh, you're gonna hear lots of British. Yes, Megan. Megan, is it Me it's Megan Markle? Ben, look. <laughs> it's Megan. <laughs> Have a safe drive. Your name has a hard C. Uh, yes, Chapstick, so does yours. No, your name has a hard C. My name has a C in it. My name starts with C. Hi, my name is Christine. It's spelled with a C at the beginning. I like hollow <laughs> and cats. Also spelled with a Z. <laughs> you should check out I Am Me. It's a puzzle game with cats. Even if you don't play, it's so cute. Okay, Blues Man here. Try to remember that for after. Say it, Ben. Say Megan Markle. I can't even say it as terrible as Ben says it. I kinda, kinda got excited for the Emily is Away series. Oh yeah, we could go back to that. But first I wanted to play this because um, British people lying just seems like a fun game. <laughs> you know what I mean? And then we could totally go back to Emily is Away. I would. I am Ben Off is uploaded in Simply Memes. Uh oh, what, what has happened? It's been two seconds and the Discord has done what? What else is new? Oh my God, <laughs> Melon! <laughs> okay, Melon, working at the speed of light. That's pretty good. Okay, new merch just dropped. <laughs> I am Ben Up. Sick, I would buy. How much would you guys pay for this? What do you think? Would you pay like, I, this is worth at least $200. <laughs> like if it's a Sherpa lined hoodie, that's pretty good. I like it. Mm -hmm. I wonder if that B is copyright though, or trademarked, probably. We could come up with a different cursive B. 40 million? Did someone say 40 million? Damn. Opinion about K-pop? What is, what is wrong with you? <laughs> like, my opinion is we're not talking about K-pop. This is this is not a K-pop conversation. So see yourself out with a hard C. <laughs> I'm sorry. They were probably like twelve, and now they're like really upset. <laughs> like, what is this? Like, what? Does the title of my stream say K-pop review? No. It was a Ben reaction. I was exuding the the Benergy. Okay, that was a very Benergetic reply on my behalf. <laughs> this is Ben's new clothing line. Yeah, it just dropped. Thank you, Melon, for designing it. <laughs> Wait, someone else did, uh, hold on, let me find it in the Discord. The Discord has been 
has been popping lately with like really cool shit. Like, what is this? Someone made this. This is by Jelly, posted by Jelly. Like their username is Jelly in the Simply Fan Art channel. They made this graphics I made to celebrate Holotaco's fourth anniversary. This is by a chatter. That's so cute. I love this. Like what a fun art style. See how it has like the prism effect too around the border? That's what's like really, mm, yeah. Like I love this. So well thought out too. Very cute. So if you guys do art, you can always share that in Simply Fan Art or if you make chaotic memes, you can do that too. Like, like this one. Like what is this? They captioned it, me when my hollow taco arrives. <laughs> uh huh. I'm scared. <laughs> Is your family scared? Does your family know about this? Okay, you should make them aware what you turn into when that hollow taco gets delivered. Give them a fair warning. What else do we have? This? Waiting for your order like... <laughs> There's so many other memes that are just like totally unrelated to me. And I like don't even understand them. Like, okay, there's one I'm like not gonna post. <laughs> like, what the fuck? What is wrong with you? There's like Colleen memes in here. Like, what is going on? Um, I did see something funny though that I wanted to try. Where is it? It was about like all the phones you had. Hold on, I'm gonna find it. Okay, here. Someone shared this. Phones you use before bingo existed. Which phones have you used, chat? This is kind of fun. I can't click on it, it's not a real bingo. But uh, no, I actually never had a Motorola flip phone. I was not that cool. Yeah, other girls had it, they had the hot pink one, I didn't. I was like, I reject the hot pink Motorola. Also, my parents wouldn't have bought it for me anyways because it was probably more expensive. <laughs> uh, this looks like the phone I still had working in the office the last time the office existed. <laughs> Like, that has not changed, okay? Does anyone still work in like corporate or government offices and they still have landlines that are like this with the black cord? Like, wh how come those never change? Like, why? <laughs> like, what's happening? <laughs> this, this type of phone in certain offices will just stay there forever. I kind of don't mind it because if you work in an office and you don't want to have someone calling you everywhere it's better that it's like attached to the desk and if you leave your desk oh I, i'm sorry i was away from the phone <laughs> right like it's good <laughs> your phone at work look exactly like this yeah like i feel like this still exists guys <laughs> what call centers yep it's like government or just i don't know some older services that are just like aren't changing what is this pay phones yeah uh i've seen this phone i never had one the samsung slide out i had one but not the full keyboard it slid out vertically and it was still like a qwerty keyboard or not qwerty sorry the other one what's the other one called like the the regular one the old one where there's only like nine buttons i don't know what this is what is this why is there two screens I had the phone right after this, the classic Nokia. Uh, no, but I remember that. Yes, I had two Blackberries <laughs> in university. Blackberries were the shit when I was in university. No, I never had that. What is this, like a joke phone? <laughs> what is this? <laughs> I don't recognize it. No, yes, probably in our household as a landline. Yes, I had a Nokia like that. No, I never had a folding flip phone. This is something like MKBHD has probably reviewed on his channel though. That looks like my phone now, so. Uh, no, this looks like when work 
managers finally upgraded to cell phones. This is what they got. I never had a blinged out thing like this. OG iPhone, I didn't, I had Blackberries. Oh, I had some of these, that's so cute. These fancier sliders, I remember those, didn't have it. A rotary phone, I feel like we definitely did, but I was old enough by the time that house phones kind of looked like this. And then another fancy pink flip phone I, I did not have. I never had a flip phone. I went straight from like a bricky looking Nokia to something more like this that just like slid up and then Blackberry and then iPhone and the rest is iPhone history. Okay, well that's, this is the Discord. If you're ever bored and in need of a chaotic meme to lift your spirits, just go to the Simply and Illogical Discord and someone will, will cheer you up. <laughs> Okay, all right, what should we do today? Should we play games, yeah? I actually failed to update the bot, so the bot will not be telling you what game we're playing. I will, when I find it. Contradiction, okay, let's set up, yeah? Whoa. All right, we're setting up for gaming. Gaming. Da, 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 dance the night away, cause we are gaming when we dance the night away. Okay, I'll tell you in a second. Oh. It's probably a little loud. So we are playing Contradiction, which is a British game about solving a murder. <laughs> I've been recommended this game by a few of you, and I think in part because we played the game called Her Story, which was basically just watching police interrogation tapes of a woman and understanding what her story was and figuring out what actually happened. This one I think is a little more of a, a play by play and not like stuck in one room with one person. I don't think it's scary. The rating is like T for teen, which to me suggests like it's pretty much for everyone. Like unless you're like six or really immature, you know what I mean? Like that's usually when they use the teen rating. <laughs> I don't think there's like gruesome murder or anything. Otherwise you would see more like a rated R or a very mature or whatever. I don't get the impression that it's actually scary. I think it's like spooky and maybe a little bit goofy. Yeah. D yeah, exactly like Chatter said. It's more cheesy than scary, but that's why it's fun. Okay, so it's not like actually scary, but the storyline is about a murder. Like you are solving a murder but you're not like doing a murder or anything. Okay, this isn't like Fran Bo. On a scale from <laughs> zero to Fran Bo, this is like a four, like a goofy cheesy four, you know what I mean? And there's no hairbrushes that I'm aware of. I don't think this will be scary from what I've read. I think it'll be like kind of silly. <laughs> okay. I have never played. This is my first time playing. Progress 0%. Oh, I hate it. How do I get to 100? Watch prologue. My name is Jenks. Detective Inspector Frederick Jenks. And I've been assigned to a last minute investigation into the death of Kate Vine. A PhD student found drowned at midnight last Friday in a lake in the woods on the outskirts of the tiny village of Edenton. I have until first thing tomorrow morning to decide whether her death was a simple accident or whether this was murder. Kate Vine appeared to the world to be a bright, confident, fun-loving PhD student with everything to live for. However, a history of depression and alcoholism revealed in her medical records suggests that in reality she had become adept at hiding behind a mask 
A lab report indicating a high level of alcohol in her blood, along with the late hour of her death and a lack of witnesses, makes a strong case that this was suicide. But the verdict overlooked some curious details. Why was her driving license found on the opposite side of the lake in which she drowned? Also, there were traces of morphine in Kate's system. Where did she get it? Kate was known to be a free it? spirit with a nihilistic love of danger, which may, in part, have something to do with a business course called Atlas, which Kate had joined, she joined and which she had been attending on the no! night of her death. Based in a large That's stately home died. on the outskirts of the village, the exclusive Atlas is run by father and son team, Paul and Ryan Rand. Both were interviewed following Kate's death, but neither claimed to have seen Kate after the meeting, and both were understandably eager to distance themselves and Atlas from the tragedy. Mm -hmm. This isn't the first time that Atlas has been investigated. Hold on, I didn't think. Uh, subtitles. On. It says they're on. My name is Jenks, Sorry. Detective Inspector Frederick Jenks, and I've been assigned to a last-minute investigation into the death of Kate Vine, a PhD student found drowned at midnight last Friday in a lake in the woods on the outskirts okay, of the tiny village of Eden. Replay. I now have until attention. first thing tomorrow morning to decide whether her death was a simple accident or whether this was murder. Kate Vine appeared to the world to be a bright, confident, fun-loving PhD student with everything to live for. However, a history of depression and alcoholism revealed in her medical records suggests that in reality, she had her become adept Katie. at hiding behind a mask. A lab report indicating a high level of alcohol in her blood, along with the late hour of her death and a lack of witnesses, makes a strong case that this was suicide. But the verdict overlooked some curious details. Why was her driving license found on the opposite side of the lake in which she drowned? Also, there were traces of morphine in Kate's system. Where did she get it? Where did she get Kate it? Kate was known to be a free spirit with a nihilistic love of danger, which may, in part, have something to do with a business course called Atlas, they did. which Kate had joined and which she had been attending on the night of her death. Based in a large, stately home on the outskirts of the village, the exclusive Atlas is run by father and son team, Paul and Ryan Rand. I don't like their names. Both were interviewed following Kate's death, but neither claimed to have seen Kate after the meeting, and both were understandably eager to distance themselves and Says, Atlas reach your true potential, the ew. This isn't the first time that Atlas has been investigated. Atlas and their questionable methods, which many have suggested border it's a cult. Control. It's a cult. Ryan is married to Rebecca, landlady of Edenton's village pub, the George and Dragon. As yet, she hasn't been interviewed, though it's likely Kate visited the pub on more than one occasion. One of Kate's friends was Emma Bowman, who lives at Eden Lodge on the road leading out of Edenton Village. Emma was also doing a PhD at the same university, but didn't attend Atlas. Interviewed after Kate's death, Emma seemed shocked and upset, insisting she hadn't seen Kate that night. However, it turned out her boyfriend had. Ooh. Simon Thompson met Emma at university. Emma? After completing his degree around 18 months ago, he went to work at a shop in the neighboring village. He started at the Atlas course a few months ago. Simon insisted that he, he was didn't a group see Kate murder. after the meeting, but the sergeant interviewing him noted he seemed oddly unmoved by her death, which makes him the first person I want to see tonight. Let's go! It's time for some answers. That's right! Give me the answers. Who did it? Was it the boyfriend of the girlfriend who's joining in on the MLM self-help program? Was it the organizers and the founders of the MLM? Okay, who is it? Who did it? <laughs> it's detective time. We need answers. You heard the man? Okay, that was the prologue. So what is this save game? I don't understand. What is save game one, two? Do I click those at any time? Like, how do I save my game? What is my game? <laughs> how do I play this game? <laughs> what? You can't play a British game without tea. Do you have your tea? What a question is that, Shannon? Surely I do. I always do have my tea. Okay, case background info. Hello? There is no info. Oh, I have to hit start. 
Maybe I should hit instructions. How come instructions doesn't work? Literally none of these do anything. Now I'm confused. I, I need to start the game? Okay, I'll hit start game. <laughs> it doesn't work! I think there's like a bug. You can like see things behind. Oh, see? Like what's going on? Maybe I have to look at these first. Okay, sorry. I feel like maybe there's like a... An infrastructure, a UI glitch. Okay, Kate's driving. I know my head is blocking it. Don't worry, I will read it. Kate's driving license. Kate's driving license was found on the bank of the lake near Kate's body with a piece of tape attached. Try using this. No? What do you mean? It says no. Is, it looks like an emery board. Her body was found in the woods lake early last Saturday morning. Okay. Try using, like, I don't understand. Click a pen or move left and right with the controller. I'm just using my mouse. Oh. oh. Okay, wait, wait. Hold on. Let me go back. This is a map and I can go everywhere on the map. Okay, I understand. Uh, let's see. Before I start on the map. Um, better do a spot of investigation around Eden. You haven't. Okay, so that this is like a tip thing. Just telling me what to do. Let me just go back to the home so this is starting the game okay there now the bug is solved the village friday after 5 p.m all right chat where do we go first go left down west street go to the pub or go right up north lane let me see if i can hmm I'm just wondering what other clues I have. You guys want us to drink? Come on, guys. You want to go to the pub? Fucking, fucking chat. <laughs> what happened? Hello? The, is the pub closed? They said no. Okay, there's no one home. Let's let's go um let's go up North Lane. No drinking yet. It's not open. <gasps> it's the British flag. I know where we are. <laughs> it's GeoGuessr. <laughs> We're in England. I win the game. Okay. Let's go down this creepy path. To a dead end. Oh, I love dead ends. It's like doing a proper perimeter sweep. How do I? There's a dumpster. How do I go in it? Oh. Always a nice to randomly find a key on the floor. That's what I say. I randomly found a key. Okay. What else? Wow, isn't that interesting? Isn't that interesting? This is where the cult is. This is where they tell you that you can be anything, okay? If you just believe in yourself. <laughs> Buy their program for a thousand dollars a week first, and then you can be anything. Try using this. Oh, can I break in? I don't understand this interface. There's no use for the silver key here, sorry. Fuck. Okay, just checking, just checking. Better do a spot investigation around Eden Lodge. 
So that's where we are, right? No, we're up here. Edenton Village. Okay, let's let's go back to the junction. So we want to go here. Eden Lodge. Yeah. Okay. Hmm. Do we go into the woods and then to the lodge? Yes. <gasps> Body! Body found! Oh, I'm scared. On the jetty. Looks like a piece of jewelry there, stuck between the boards. Well and truly wedged in. What kind of jewelry? Obviously the key doesn't work in the lake, Christine. I'm just checking. Okay. Do we keep going? No, I don't want to keep going. Nothing, nothing, nothing to see here. Okay, I'm scared. Let's go back. Ah, wrong way. <laughs> okay, this way. We're going to the Eden Lodge. Eden Lodge. A bicycle. Very trusting, leaving a bike unlocked. Depends where you reside. Looks like uh, homebrew equipment. They're making their own beer? Ah. This might come in handy. What, are you gonna stab someone? Are we the murderer? Oh my god, we did it. I solved it. What's this? What does that mean? Box of bottles. A box of bottles was seen outside Eden Lodge. Okay, so we have a screwdriver. Right, so if I can ever use, use something, then I would drag it. I guess. Knock for Simon. There's nothing I can really, like, do. Like, I can't put this on the bike. I feel like maybe this game will tell you when there's something you can do. Like, it'll light up or something. Because, yeah, otherwise, like, I can't click on anything. You know what I mean? I can only click on what's white. Hello? Is it Simon? Uh, yeah. Detective Inspector Jenks, I'm investigating an incident in the village. Could I come in and ask you a few questions, please? Um, yeah. Thank you. <laughs> me, uh, when detectives ask me a question. Want, uh, Emma's working in the front room. Hi. Uh, this is Inspector Jenks. Jenks. What's all this about? There was a death in the village. Kate Vine, I believe you both knew her. Yeah. Do you need to speak to both of us? Uh, I'll, I'll just speak to Simon first, if that's okay. Just come through. Is it okay in here? Oh, this will be fine, yeah. Do you want anything? Water? No, no, no. Poison. Okay. Little poison. <sighs> Little poison pucker. A screwdriver was found in a box outside Eden Lodge. It isn't worth asking Simon about the screwdriver. Contradictions will appear. Oh. Oh, is that the name of the game? Okay. Interesting. This is like how we collect evidence in British. Got it. <laughs> Thank you. Probably be back later. That's it? The fuck did he Best say? Knock on the window for Emma. Simon always answers the front door. Sir, what happened? I missed the entire conversation. What the fuck? <laughs> Is that what happens in in British? You ha you just don't collect any evidence. <laughs> 
You have to click on stuff? What? Where? A few more questions, if you don't mind. <laughs> Oh, I am stupid with a hard S. <laughs> Simply little clicky. Okay, okay, it's fine. We understand. It's my first time playing this game. Okay, you hear me? Got it. Uh, asking about Kate. Hmm. What's in the box of bottles? Just casual. I noticed a lot of bottles outside. Are they yours? Yeah, I make homebrew. For yourself? Well, no, I give it out to my friends and stuff. I tried so selling it at first, but a I beer didn't dealer. have the takers. Except for James over at Farmlands. I, I used to trade it to him for, for herbs and stuff. Is that legal? Do you see James a lot? No, not really. Okay. So he trades his homemade beer for herbs interesting herbs <laughs> and beer <laughs> okay sir it's not worth asking okay unlocked bicycle sure which is the bike outside oh that's my cousin's he lent me it uh, I need to buy a new lock for it, though. So it's your bike at the moment? Yeah, yeah. Uh, there's well, no bus no. service to speak of around here, so works. it's really the only way to get around. There's no bus service. There's no bus service. Are they in rural Britain? Simon? Jenks hasn't asked Simon about this yet. Okay. Uh, her death first. When was the last time you saw Kate Vine? Um... So, last Friday's meeting, I think. Did you see her after the meeting? Meeting. No. How long have you known Kate? No, tell that would me be more about the meeting. When we started Atlas. Three months ago? Did you socialise outside Atlas? No. No. <laughs> How would you describe her? What sort of person was she? Amenable. Well, she's Agreeable. talented. Uh, she was. Full of potential. Full of life, you know? Sharp, quite sharp. Would you say she had any emotional problems? Well, she, she is a woman. Her mood, <laughs> her mood could change. And, well, there was the drinking problem. When did you become aware of that? Well, she would come drunk to a meeting sometimes. <laughs> and she would reek of the stuff. I mean, everyone knew, but nobody really said anything. So... Did you give her your beer? Tell me a bit about that. Oh, it's just a business management training program for postgrads. And you started this after you left college? Uh, yeah. And it's on every Friday? Yeah, well, my group isn't doing it this Friday, but uh, one of the groups is. Okay, thanks. Okay, so there's different groups of these Atlas people who meet on Fridays. And uh, she had a lot of energy. She was a good girly. Let's ask about her license. Did you know whether Kate had lost this or not? No. No, I don't think so. I've never seen it before. I can look up and down twice too. <laughs> so where's the contradictions? Oh, wait, wait. Oh, I can click on this. Oh, do I have to say what I th interpret the answer as? Oh my god, this is way more complicated. They make me write my own evidence. <laughs> what the fuck? Makes his own homebrew. Tried selling it, but only to James. Doesn't see James. Well, he said all these things. Does anyone understand this? I'm, I'm just like, don't understand how they decide which one gets put into the top box. Like, are they saying these are all contradictions? No. If you catch someone saying contradictory things, you can catch them. 
You have to find the contradiction between the two statements. Oh, okay. So if I put both of them in a box, in, okay, got it. Okay, was there a contradiction? Last saw Kate at the Atlas meeting last Friday. Only known Kate for three months. Didn't socialize with Kate outside of Atlas. Kate often seemed drunk at Atlas. Makes his own homebrew, tried selling it, but only to James. Doesn't she, James? I don't think there's any contradictions yet. Maybe the bike? Did he say anything else about the bike or like getting around? I don't think so. Okay, that's it. That's it for now. Let's visit Emma. Uh, that's all for the moment. Thank you. Don't worry, it's only a few questions. Yeah. Have you ever tried Simon's homebrew? Me? <laughs> no. I don't like beer. I only drink wine. I can't stand spirits either. Okay, she hates beer. She hates Simon. <laughs> What's the stack of bottles outside? Oh, that's all Simon's stuff. You better ask him. I, I don't know. His fucking weird beer bottles. <laughs> he makes his own. Whose is the bike outside? Oh, it's Simon's cousin's. He uses it to get to work. You know the lock's broken. Oh, I know. I keep telling him to fix it. He use it. Simon uses the bike to get to work. But it belongs to his cousin. Okay. That's consistent. Did you know whether Kate had lost this or not? Um, I don't know, but I... I don't think so. Okay. 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 When was the last time you saw Kate Vine? It was last Thursday in the college library. Um, I saw her and we chatted for a bit. She seemed her usual self. What was her usual self? Oh, just Kate being Kate. You know, a bit wild. Wild? What way wild? Wild Wild West, obviously. Oh, she just used to question everything, you know. Have arguments with the lecturers, things like that. What else? Kate had a drink problem. How uh, noticeable was that? Well, it wasn't at first, but as the year went on, she'd be drunk in the afternoon. But I th think she cut down, you know, towards the end of college and when she started her PhD. Okay, that all seems, I mean, somewhat consistent with what the guy said. I mean, he didn't call her wild, but... Do we go back and visit Simon? What does the fit finder say? Hmm. Be back later on, if that's okay. Okay, maybe we'll come back, because I'm still trying to figure out... What we should do. Let's see. Wonder if forensics sets the We did search it. We found stuff. We found a necklace. Okay, let's go here. We already went to the jetty. I if you go back, do you get a second pass at something? Who's that? The fuck is that? Like, do you see this? There's clearly two people just standing there. Hello? <laughs> it's like the set, people. <laughs> Should we go to Atlas? Uh oh, I'm gonna die. We're gonna die. <gasps> We're going to Atlas. We're doing it. We're breaking in. Rosenbaum Estate Grounds. Okay, fucking mansion. Tell me you're rich. <laughs> like, what is this? Is this British royalty? Let's I'll break in. Later, I think. No. We want to break in. Come on now. What? Is 
It's not letting me. It says we have to... No. Can you get the jewelry out? I will try. Um, oops. <laughs> but it, it didn't give me the jewelry prompt again. Like, what am I... Oh! That's not very intuitive. <laughs> I thought forensics had checked the whole area. Obviously not very well. It's a bird! It's a plane! Okay, we got a bird. It's a broken penchant. Pendant. Did I just say penchant? It's a broken penchant. <laughs> okay, now I want to go back to Atlas and see if I can break in. Oops. Oh, this is a new woods. Now can I break in? No. Can I do anything else? The key? Fuck! It says no! Damn it. The key, it said no! Who would know about jewelry? Okay, so we have to go back to Simon and Emma. Okay. This game is so, like, not intuitive, you know what I mean? Because it goes back the opposite way. Fuck! <laughs> like, it's not like a real map. <laughs> this way. No! No! A few more questions, if you don't mind. Ever seen this? Looks like, uh. That's my old necklace. I gave this to Kate. <gasps> so Kate might have been wearing it last Friday. Yeah, well, perhaps, but I can't see why. She was always buying new things, you know, lots of jewelry, stuff like that. It's meant to be a bird in cage, but the cage's fallen off. Oh, I'll show you. <laughs> Where did you buy it? I didn't. Some wanted present. Secret admirer? Mm, not so secret. I see. That's how it should have looked. It's called a freedom necklace. Do you mind if I keep this? No, not at all. So the necklace did Who's belong to Kate. Interesting. I'm starting to wish I'd brought a spare evidence bag. It's probably like free with your first trial of the atlas program a freedom necklace bird and cage necklace free yourself okay interesting now okay, let's go that's ask it Simon. For now. thank you you know what this is yeah yeah i think emma had one like it actually you know what kate had one I remember because I asked her about it one night when we were all out drinking. In college. I was probably pretty drunk. That's what college is all about. True. <laughs> okay. So I've already asked everything. Thank you. Probably be back later. 
Okay, we'll be back. Later. Where should we go? Mm. Now that I know how to use things, can I try the key again? It says no. Fuck a screwdriver. No. Damn it. Freedom necklace. And literally anything. Can I do anything? I want to break in. No. Okay, that's the right path. Let's go to the pub. What? How come I can't go? It still says Friday after five. What time is it? When does it open? <laughs> what, what, the game is broken. How do I get in? Let me in! What if I... No? Homebrew? Nothing? Key. No, nothing. Okay, we can't go to the pub, apparently. Let's go down behind the Brandon house. Look at our little briefcase. Ooh, a garage. Behind Brandon. They need to redo that wood stain. Look at that. <laughs> it's because it rains <laughs> for like 10 hours a day in Britain. Look at what the rain did to the garage door. <laughs> No. I just want to break into a place. God damn it! Nothing? Rude. Call the chief. Oh. <gasps> Look at the telephone bill! Last number redial? That's terrifying. And a public call box. Hello? Hello? 911. Hello? Chief? Yep. It's Jenks. Uh, I've questioned Simon Thompson and Emma Bowman so far. Oh, and I found a pendant by the lake, which turns out to have been Emma's. But Emma gave it to Kate. So, chances are, Kate was wearing it the night she drowned. What does Thompson know about it? Simon doesn't seem to know much. I don't trust Thompson. And again, I don't trust Emma that much either. Try and get a bit of background on them, you know, usual stuff. When did Emma meet Kate? How long have they known each other? How long has Thompson known her? Give me a call back when you've got some more. Thanks, Chief. Okay, Chief was just like, keep doing your job. Okay, we haven't solved it right. We need to increase our clearance rate, sir. Please solve. <laughs> All right, let's keep going. When can I go to the pub? It still says after 5 p.m. Like, does time not work in the UK? I wanna, I wanna drive this car. There must be a contradiction somewhere. That's what the hint says. Okay. Where am I? No. Okay, let's go back and talk to Simon and Emma because our boss said so and we do what he says. We must find a contradiction. Okay, let's talk to Simon first. A couple How... more questions, if that's okay. How much can I talk to him? It's just replaying answers, though. There's no, like, new questions. Right? Hmm. Simon has a contradiction. Guys, we missed it. 
We missed the clues. We're fired. <laughs> okay. Last saw Kate at the Atlas meeting last Friday. Has only known her for three months. Didn't socialize with Kate outside of Atlas. At Atlas, Kate was often drunk. Okay. Doesn't know anything about the license. Bike belongs to Simon's cousin. Bike is the only way Simon... Are these contradictions? I mean, not... Yeah, not like really, but maybe if we unpacked them more. Makes his own homebrew, tried selling it, but only sold to James. Doesn't see James very often. Are these contradictions? Thinks Emma had a, Kate wore the necklace at college. Oh, is it the one where uh, he didn't socialize with her outside of Atlas? No. Didn't socialize with Kate outside of Atlas? No. Said he saw Kate wearing a freedom necklace at college. How long ago was college? This? Ah. <gasps> so how did you know Kate was wearing a freedom necklace 18 months ago at college? Well, I, I knew Kate at college, but I, I didn't get to know her till, till we started Atlas. Right, so you didn't socialise with her at college? No. And you didn't socialise with her outside of Atlas? Uh, no. You didn't see her outside Atlas at all? Um, no, no, <laughs> not at all. We can go to the bar! So Simon did know Kate at college, but why would he lie about that? Maybe mm. he knows Kate better than he's willing to admit. Mm -hmm. Six o'clock. I wonder if Rebecca's working in the pub tonight. Okay, it's time to go to the pub. Let's fucking go. Get my drink on. You're looking stylish tonight. Chat looking good tonight. <laughs> Press the bell. I get you? Detective Inspector Jenks. Rebecca, is it? Yeah, Rebecca. Mm. There's been an uh, incident From in this village. I'm conducting an investigation. Could I ask you a few questions, please? Do you have a hairbrush? Right. <laughs> Come through. Thank you. Are we drinking in the chat? <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna buy you a drink. What's it about? There's been an unexplained death locally. Not sure if you've heard. The student? Yes. Yes, it was dreadful news. You're married to Ryan, one of the Atlas leaders, <gasps> yes? It was her. I suppose I am, yes. Well, suppose? I just wanted to ask a few questions about Kate and Atlas, if that's okay. I don't know if I'll be able to answer any of them, but sure. What necklace is she wearing? She is suspicious. But so are the men we have not questioned yet. Literally everyone in this game is suspicious. <laughs> okay. Tell us about the Do you necklace. recognize this? I've seen students wearing them. It has some sort of meaning, doesn't it? I forget what it is now. Seen anyone wearing one recently? Not that I can remember. She's seen students wearing the necklace, but she hasn't seen anyone wearing one recently so she only saw people wearing them a long time ago okay know anything about simon thompson's homebrew does he make homebrew apparently no we do buy from a microbrewery but we don't usually buy from kitchen breweries she said um there is a health code me thinks okay i can't just buy beer that someone made in their backyard <laughs> can't sell that to my customers now okay there's some regulations in place <laughs> i wouldn't buy from his fucking kitchen <laughs> no kitchen beer 
<laughs> Have you seen this before? <clears throat> what was that? No, sorry. So you didn't <clears throat> know if Kate had lost it? No idea. She's seen it before. Did you know Kate? Not very well. She came in a few times, but she was quite a moody person. Moody. You could tell she had problems. When was the last time you saw her? Friday. She popped in for a minute. And when was that? Uh, Seven-ish. Was she on her own? I didn't see who she was with. She put £20 on the bar and then left. What was that for? It's pretty a heavy. A breakage, presumably. £20? Just for a beer glass? <laughs> well, she was very drunk. She just put it on the bar and then walked out. Was there a broken glass? Not that I noticed. But she was a strange girl. Why is she strange? Yeah, no one seems to to want to be Kate's bestie. Surely someone we're going to interview is like, she was my best friend. Okay. Didn't know Kate well. Kate was drunk. Nothing about Kate here. Was there a contradiction? Damn, this game is hard. Nothing about, like, what beer she was drinking from the kitchen brewery. <laughs> Thank you. Probably be back later. Okay, we'll be back later. See you later, okay? Go to the restaurant. I'm, I'm hungry. I could use a fish and chips. Where, where is this place? Like, what is... Was this... Sh I feel like this... The footage was shot, like, 27 years ago. You know what I mean? Can I use anything here? No. What's the point of showing me this screen? I want to pee. Let me go to the lavatory. The lavatory. To the washroom. Rude. Oh, Chatter makes a good point. If she never saw her license, did she have to check her license for beer? But was Some she more questions, like please? Thank you. Hold on. Does that make sense? It doesn't really say like she ID'd people though. You know what I mean? Like, that's not it. Oh, here, this, and... This. No. It's not a contradiction. You can drink at the pub at, at 16? Oh. That's all for the moment. Thank you. Just British things. 16 or 18? You're, you're 16. Oh, yeah, it's Europe. <laughs> Is Essex a country? Can you drink at 16? You, no, you can't. Only with a meal? That's still <laughs> drinking. <laughs> Wait, what? American logic cannot understand this. Like, oh, oh, well, we can get wasted as long as I buy a slice of pizza. <laughs> like, what? <laughs> yeah, that's funny. I, I mean, Americans also think Canada is so young because it's 19 here or 18 if you're in Quebec or Alberta. I think 21 is like really old, but I mean, I'm living the Canadian experience, so. Europe's on another level. back here a broken window 
Recently smashed by the look of it. Might have to ask about that. Just redecorating. <gasps> tape! 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 The tape looks the same as on the driver's license. Why didn't you notice that, sir? What do I do? Driver's license. Look. How do I click the window? Hmm. That's all? <gasps> key, 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 key. We got him. We're just fucking breaking in now. We're going rogue. Oh my god, we're gonna die. We're gonna get kidnapped. <laughs> what are we doing? We're literally just... Oh my god, can you hear Ben making hummus? <laughs> ben is making hummus in the kitchen with a blender. Looks like junk, but it's too dark to tell. Looks like glasses, Carlsberg. Got some cleaner. Screwdriver? No. Just checking. Turn on the light. I don't think I like. Oh, there we go. Atlas. What the fuck? I wonder whose mask this is. Rebecca's or Ryan's? Or the other guy. The other brother. Paul? What does that mean? Try using this? What? I'm like, put it, put it on. Oh my god. That is terrifying. What is this symbol? It's either a candy wrapper or a moon and like an eclipse represented on both sides. Or it's a fish centipede. <laughs> what a, what is it? What else is it? <laughs> Scissors, maybe? <laughs> a plate with bananas. It's a chickpea with two bananas. It's the moon phases. Okay, that was like my second guess. I Or it could have been bananas. You just never know. Triple moon. <laughs> oh, yeah, a fish centipede. <laughs> you guys don't see a fish centipede? What's wrong with you? Come on, you call yourself a detective. <laughs> You know, like, I'm not even going to say it. I'm not even going to say it. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> yeah, like that. Exactly. Like Polly Anarchy put. It's like the, the peach emoji with, with two bananas. <laughs> Do you mean like the human? Don't say, don't utter the title of that movie. Because it will <laughs> make people want to die. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways. Anyways. Better investigate the woods again. Fuck. There's also things you haven't asked Simon, Emma, and... Okay, so now that we have more shit, we can go back and interrogate them further. Got it. Now that we broke into this fucking outbuilding... Do not Google, it's dangerous out there. It's dangerous. Um, show me the map. Let's go back and interrogate these bitches. Ask you a couple more things, please. What the Have fuck is this? Have a look at this. Know anything about that? I haven't seen this one. But it looks a lot like an atlas mask. Uh, we use them for some of the um, some of the workshops and stuff. Really? Fucking weirdos. <laughs> well, you um, you have to say something uh, boastful or uh, or arrogant. 
You do it first without the mask, and then you say it with a mask. And the point is? Well, it's easier when you have the mask on, isn't it? People are not as afraid to be free about themselves, you know? Just go on the internet, man. you find out about Atlas? Well, it was advertised. Um, actually, I think I've still got the... Um... <clears throat> this is the advert that was at my college. Uh, to be honest, I've learned more in three months at Atlas than I did in three years at business school. Can I keep that? Yeah, go for it. I suppose that might be useful as a conversational starter. He learned more from Atlas than business school? Which one did he spend more money on? Do you know anything about a broken window at the pub? No, I don't really go to the pub very often. I'm not exactly a pub person. He makes his own beer. <laughs> okay, he's not a pub person. Did he say he saw her at a pub? No, he only goes to Atlas. He's an Atlas person, that's it. Okay, so now Be we ask Emma. On, if that's okay. What do you know about Atlas? I know that it's um, it's a business course. I went with Simon when he first went, but it wasn't really my thing. How often did you go? Just the once. And you decided it wasn't for you? Yeah, I'd been to something similar, so I decided it wasn't for me. Okay, so she only went once. That's interesting. Ever seen this before? Mm, nope, I haven't. Sorry. I think I'd have remembered it. I thought maybe the necklace would have been like from Atlas or something, but it doesn't appear to be. It was hers. She said she, well, the detective said, oh, a secret admirer, but like we never really found out like who that was. It was an unwanted gift. Yeah, from who? We don't know. Thank you. Probably be back later. Okay, probably be back later. Goodbye. Better investigate the woods. Alright, they want me to go to the fucking woods. Let's go to the woods. <laughs> Can I use the poster out here? What about here? Anything? Anything? What if I put this on in the middle of the woods? No? Can I compare this? No. I just want to get in, man. Let me in. Let me in! I'm not getting in. We're not getting into the cult. Sorry. Oops. 
fucking maps. The maps are too confusing. I just should click this. Okay, I realize I forgot to ask her a question. Just a few more questions, if you don't mind. Know anything about a broken window at the pub around the back? The pub? Um, a broken window at the back? Yeah, yeah I saw it was broken. When was that? I was in the pub on Monday with a college friend. So she was at the pub on Monday. They last saw Kate on Friday, right? No, college library on Thursday. Simon said Friday. Knows about the window, visited the pub on Monday. Is that a contradiction with anything? The visiting the pub? She doesn't like beer! Why go to a pub? <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> yeah, that doesn't make sense. I don't know, man. I don't I don't think there's anything uh, that's there. That's it for the time being. Thank you. Okay, that's it. What next? What next, Inspector? Give me a tip. Better invent the fucking woods. There's three things you haven't asked Rebecca about. Oh, oops. Let's go back to Rebecca then. Rebecca. Where is your hairbrush? Ask about a few more things, please. What do you know about this? It's an advertisement. They had it designed by an agency, I think. And when was that? Last year sometime. Fucking smart ass. It's an advertisement. It's an advertisement. <laughs> like, what? <laughs> yeah, I know. That's not the question, ma'am. <laughs> Poster was designed last year. Let's read it. Atlas Life Skills Training. The only thing limiting your future is your past. It sounds like Dr. Phil, kind of. Like, it's time to get excited about your laugh. Like, that could also be on this poster. And then we're gonna go to the ranch. <laughs> The Atlas three-month intensive training program offers you the chance to learn practical, effective, and highly sought-after real-world business skills recognized by some of the largest companies and industries in the world. Easy, easily the best business course I've ever taken. Book your place now. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. How did the window get broken out around the back? I don't actually know. Um, someone said two girls were arguing outside. I found out after they'd gone. And when was this? Last Friday, just after we opened, about half past six. I taped over it until Friday? I could get it fixed. We don't want people getting cut and suing us. Does that sort of thing happen a lot? Arguments? Drunk no, people? not really. I'm quite strict when that comes to borrowing clients. I don't think are um, suitable. The fuck was that, little eyebrow raised lady? Clients, I don't think, are suitable. So, like, drunk people just, like, never get into fights? I don't believe you. Liar. Contradiction. Do not believe you. Impossible. <laughs> what? T who said that? Chatter. Two girls, one window. No. That's also on my, like, 90s kid audio mood board. <laughs> Which, <laughs> never, just never mind, okay? Only, like, <laughs> people in my generation will regrettably know and be like, <coughs> why did you have to unlock that again? <laughs> what? <laughs> okay? When the internet was, like, just as weird as it is now, but it was also simpler. <laughs> Woo! 
okay, anyways. Where's the contradictions? Doesn't know who broke the window. Heard an argument between two girls. Window broke last Friday. Taped over the broken window with this tape. With the same tape. How do I ask her about the tape? Do you know what this is? Oh, you'll have to ask Ryan about that. So this so is Ryan's. It's to do with Ryan's one of Ryan's rooms. methods on the course. Go on. Well, masks allow you to play at being someone different for a while. Students find it quite liberating. So this would be for a student? I think that one's Ryan's, but students do wear them, yes. Where is Ryan? I found a clue. What? I found a clue. It's the worst book I ever read. <laughs> Why? <laughs> and Rand Atlas shrugged. <laughs> Will we find the answer? Should I read the last page and ruin it all? Everyone gets mad at me. Does anyone care about this book? I love reading the last page of a book. <laughs> I'm gonna find out who did the murder. It's, it's Atlas. This is a big ass Atlas. Why is he about the author at the end? Isn't that like in the beginning? Okay, I found the last line. Do you want to know what it is? <laughs> okay, I'm gonna read it to you. He raised his hand and over the desolate earth he traced in space the sign of the dollar. There you go, that's ending. <laughs> dollar signs, making mad money at the end of the book. Okay, that's, that's what happens in that book. This crime was motivated by money. There, we just solved it. Why does Ben have that book? I don't know. He has, like, many books. Many books, not enough clubs. <laughs> okay, there must be a contradiction, nah? Now? Nah? Ask Ryan about the mask. Mask use at the Atlas course. Allow students to role play. It's fucking, I have questions. Thinks the mask is Ryan's. Ryan had this poster designed by an agency. The broken window, I want to ask about the, the tape. It's the same as the license, but that's not a question, allegedly. Is that a contradiction? No. Okay, she last saw her at seven and the broken pub window was here. Did she, is this? It's not really a contradiction. It's just like, are these related question mark? Yes, she last saw Kate on Friday, but she didn't see who she was with. Oh, Kate gave Rebecca $20 for a breakage? What? But she doesn't know who broke the window. Aha. Uh -huh. Liar! So, you said Kate gave you 20 pounds for a breakage, but you didn't have a breakage. That's right. Do you think the payment could have been for the broken window? <laughs> Could it have been Kate who was arguing? Well, I suppose it could have been, yeah. It could have been Kate, you're probably right, yeah. But you don't know who she was arguing with? No, I'm not sure. I'll ask around. The fifth finder says... Kate broken the window. Rebecca really should have worked that out before now. Unless she did. 
But why would she lie about that? You're a liar, Rebecca. Fucking liar. Okay, so we know why she would lie. She's either covering for herself or Ryan. So is this game like you're supposed to make all of these green? Like there's a contradiction everywhere? Damn, this will take forever. Kate broke the window during an argument. Okay. But she's strict about barring clients. Liar! She didn't see who Kate was with. She doesn't know who broke the window. Well, I mean, she said that and she lied, but she didn't, she, we don't have any other clues about who the other person arguing was. Can I ask her about this? No. Okay. That's just like information for us. Did I ask her everything? I think I did. Yes, I did. Thank you. Probably be back later. Thank you. Goodbye. Yeah, we can't ask about the tape and the license for some reason, even though that's like pretty fucking obvious. Better investigate the woods again. What is in the woods? <laughs> Tell me what I'm looking for. <laughs> Better investigate the woods again. Kate was very drunk, but wasn't banned. Even though Rebecca is strict. Yes, that is kind of a contradiction. I swear I put that though. But uh, it didn't do anything. So I already used the screwdriver at the jetty. And that's how we found the broken pendant. We've already done that. So like, I don't know what else I'm doing. Like what else can, can I do in the woods? Hello, do I put on this mask? Do I show you this bird? Do I give you a beer? Okay, go back. We're going to use the fit finder. <laughs> I'm bringing my fit finder. Couple more questions, if that's okay. And uh, just place your finger right here. <laughs> Did you hear about an argument in the pub last Friday? No, I wasn't there. You weren't in the village? No, I went home last, last Thursday night, actually, to see my parents. But you do visit the pub. Oh, yeah, I mean, I, I know Rebecca quite well. We, we all went there quite a bit after college. Okay. She knows Rebecca well and went to the pub after college, but she's saying she went to see her parents Thursday, so she wasn't in town on Friday. So it wasn't her, it, like the other lady in the argument. But she last saw Kate on Thursday. Well, it could be Thursday night that she left. Yeah. It's not a contradiction. Knows Rebecca quite well went to the pub after college. Is that maybe? Like, did she say she doesn't go to the pub? Well, yeah, she did say she doesn't drink. Oh, visited the pub on Monday? Liar! Or wait, she probably got back in town. 
No. Yeah, see, she, cause she got back in town. looking for something else with a date. Yeah, we already tried this and that doesn't do anything. Yeah, I don't know. Okay, uh, let's that's ask Simon. The Thank you. Know anything about an argument at the pub last Friday? No, <laughs> like I didn't go to the pub last Friday. What did you do after the course? Just went home. Came here. Just came straight back. <laughs> what was that eye looking? Uh, don't worry, I'm absolutely not watching anything today. <laughs> what? Learn how to lie better. Like, lie, do better. Sarah. <laughs> There's no contradictions from Simply. Doesn't know anything about the argument, went straight home after I list on Friday. Okay, any contradictions? Says he, like, he doesn't know anything about this pub. And so far, no one has placed him at the pub. He only goes to Atlas. That's it. Be back later on, if that's okay. Okay, I think I missed something for her though, so let's. More questions, we're, please. we're back. <laughs> we're back. Hmm. Didn't see Kate often. No. So she says she knows... Kate says she knows Rebecca, which is the sassy lady in the cult, quite well. And that she went to the pub after college. How can she know about the broken window on Friday if she left on Thursday? Well, she went to the pub on Monday, so she could have seen it then. Yeah. This is like hard. <laughs> like what? I thought this was gonna be like an easy British game, you know? Maybe knowing Rebecca well, but she said she only went to Atlas once. Hmm. Knows Rebecca well. Only went to Atlas once, so you could try it. No. Like, I guess you could know Rebecca in other ways. This is so hard. I know. It gets easier. Pfft. Use that criminology degree. They didn't teach me how to solve British crime, only Canadian. Okay? British crime is like 
what is this? What is this? Like, <laughs> there's driver's license and stickers, and I can't even ask about the stickers. <laughs> Why did she give Kate necklace if she doesn't know her well? So. She gave it to Kate. Didn't see Kate often. That doesn't mean she doesn't like know her well. Like maybe they used to be friends and she gave her a necklace a long time ago. Yeah. Where did she get this fucking freedom necklace? That's what doesn't make sense. Like... It's gotta be through the Atlas people, right? Why, do, why go to a pub if you don't drink? I mean, lots of people go to a pub even though they don't drink because they're hanging out with friends. I think I already put that combination and it didn't turn anything up. Like here, like she drinks wine and hates spirits. You can, you can buy wine at the pub, you know? Went to seminar, but never seen the mask. Maybe they weren't using the mask that one time. Yeah. Not a contradiction. This is tough. Okay, we need okay, to- Okay, that's it for now. Thank you. I need a hint. It's gonna tell me to go to the woods. Better investigate the woods. <laughs> okay, are the, is there like another set of woods? No, it's just this. What? <laughs> Excuse me, sir. I'm a police officer, Detective Inspector Jenks. It's all right, you can carry on if you want to. I'm just going. <laughs> I'm investigating a, a death in the village, Kate Vine. There was a death recently Hello, in the- Hello, I knew her. Well, could I ask you a few <laughs> questions, please? A bit dark. It's, it's not Well, that if dark. you give me your name and address, I'll come later on. Where do you live? The house. And what's your name? <laughs> like, why does this man have, like, a hookah in a cardboard box? And then he's, like, putting his hookah in the box. And, like, hookahs aren't illegal, right? Like, it's literally just a way to, like, smoke tobacco. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> and, like, who brings that giant fucking thing to the middle of the woods? I've never seen that before. Like, you bring a joint to the middle of the woods, not your whole fucking hookah in a cardboard box, boy. <laughs> Goddamn. Okay. He said he was at the farmhouse. There's a farm marked on the map down West Street. Wonder what they grow there. Oh my God. Let's, let's go do drug hunting. We are joining the criminal drug investigation unit. farmhouse here abbey farm according to the map abbey farm is across the road there let's fucking go ring the doorbell Pfft, that's way too forward let's just snoop <laughs> just break in Is this where he makes his drugs? What is this? What is this? 
butterflies. Picture frames with black painted glass. Very interesting. Blacking out the pictures of his victims. Interesting. I like that, you know, as a creative thing. Can I use anything? Let's knock on the door. Ring my bell. Could I ask you a few more questions, please? Didn't take you long. Haven't got much time. <laughs> that was the most Just fakely the acted thing I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> Where do you want to sit? Oh, anywhere's fine. I uh, didn't quite catch your name. James, sit there. Thank you, James. <laughs> sit there. Why are you asking me about Kate Pye? Routine. You know Simon, don't you? Thompson. Why, what did he say? That you all went to college together, you and Kate. Is that right? Might have done. Right. Good enough. Right! Good enough! Did you know whether Kate had lost this or not? <laughs> no idea. Okay. New suspect just dropped. Hot new suspect enters the greenhouse. Let's ask him all the questions and find out what herbs he's smoking. <laughs> When was the last time you saw Kate Vine? I can't remember. How did you know her? Uh, through Simon. His girlfriend was mates with her. Saw her around college a few times. Did you socialise with her much? Nah. <sighs> she wasn't my type. He's an incel. Incel! <laughs> <laughs> he did it! Okay. Let's try and remember. This will help us. Okay? Because this is hard can't remember the last time he saw her allegedly knew her no knew Kate which is the other lady through some, no fuck Kate is the dead girl oh my god Christine <laughs> oh my god I'm the worst detective ever <laughs> he knew Kate through Simon's girlfriend which is the other couple that we keep going back to okay he didn't socialize with her sure he doesn't know about the license. What do you know about Simon's bike? What bike? You haven't seen him on a bike? I haven't seen him. When was the last time you saw him? At Alice. About a month ago. Where? Where? Know anything about a broken window at the pub? Don't go to the pub. You've never been to the pub. Didn't say that. I've been to the pub, but not for about two months, three months. Okay, the detective was just like, you've never been to the pub, but you look like you live there. <laughs> like, what? <laughs> ever seen one of these before? Freedom necklace. Don't think so. Have you uh, ever tried Simon's homebrew? Thompson's tar? Yeah, I've tried it. Did he sell it? Well, not to me, not for money anyway. We used to trade stuff. Herbs, herbs, what herbs. What did you trade? I make a nice herbal tea as it happens. Tea? Him and his girlfriend were into it. What was his beer like? Image. Lethal. Strong. Knock your eyes out. Oh, give me that. Give me the lethal tea. <laughs> wait, wait, what? Lethal tea. Did he give it to Kate? Menchie! Hi! You wanna say hi? Come here.
Menchi says, who the fuck did the murder? Menchi gonna solve the crime. That's right, little detective. Little detective. Okay, you got your toe beans. Chief of the toe beans, it's Menche. Inspector Menche. Do -do 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 -do. Inspector Menche. She wants some catnip tea. Hi, sweetie. Can I help you? Are you a little boo canoe? Are you a cuddly canoe? Are you okay? Are you sad? <laughs> She's being a little baby right now. Do 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 do, Inspector Manchi. Do 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 do. Not my hair. Remember on stream on the lunch stream, she was just like in my elbow, like a little boo canoe. She's a little baby. What? Where are you going? Hi. Hello. Are you a little baby? Can I help you? <laughs> oh, so we're distracted. <laughs> She's so cute. I can't stop looking at her. She's a boo canoe. Okay, girl. We got you. Got to help me solve this crime. Okay, Simon traded his tea. Wait, are there two people named Simon? What the fuck is going on? Menchi's on the case. That's, I don't know. Yeah, she is. She's on the case. Here, Menchi, you gonna purr for them? I don't know if you can hear her. She just licked you, chat. <laughs> Did you hear that? <laughs> Did you just lick the chat? Don't do that. <laughs> She's licking the chat. <laughs> Okay, we're distracted. Oh, I'm, I'm, I've lost the plot. Okay, let's keep asking. Know anything questions. about an argument at the pub last Friday? No. That's it. That's all we got. Okay, no argument. Ever seen one of these? Seen them around college. What do you know about it? Not much. It's a business course. That's Simon. He's on it. You wouldn't be interested in that sort of thing. And you haven't discussed it with Simon? Not really. Business doesn't interest me. But you're a herb tradesman. That's a business. We already asked everything? Damn. Nope, the mask. Ever seen this before? No, should I have? No, it's okay. Okay. Oh, picture now, frames. What's all this stuff in the workshop? Paint and stencils and things like that. Just a little sideline of mine. Oh, you do picture framing. They're black mirrors. Scrying mirrors. Scrying? Now, what's a scrying? Screaming, mirror? crying? Show you one if you want. Screaming, crying, throwing up? Scrying goes back centuries. The ancient Persians did it. This country pagans still practice it. The fortune tellers pretend to do it. That's what the crystal ball's all about. It's all scrying. The mirror's just one way of doing it. Oh. But what is scrying? Depends who you are. People do it for different reasons. What sort of reasons? Exploring your mind. Clearing your mind. Communicating with the dead. Is that what you use them for, James? Communicating with the dead. And they make them for other people these days. And there's a market for these, is there? Lots of people want to talk to the dead. Even if they don't believe in it. Do you make a profit on them? I don't do it for the money. 
He's not a, a businessman. Of you. Can I keep this? Keep it. Thank you. Yeah, what is scrying? Black mirrors and hookah pipes. I wonder what else James is into. Menji, what is scrying? <laughs> Scry, I thought it was like it stands for screaming and crying, you know? Maybe he's like a screaming, crying, throwing up. He's just like, I love my herbs so much, I'm screaming, crying, throwing up. <laughs> okay, it's about divination, divination. The divine consciousness, it's all connected. He's into killing women? Okay, well, that's a big jump. May, I mean, could be. Someone is. Someone is Menchi. We're gonna figure it out. Inspector Menchi. <laughs> okay, did anyone detect a contradiction? Let's see. Let's let's read it over. Okay. He makes scrying mirrors. Mirror just one way of scrying. Scrying practice for various reasons. Only makes the mirrors for others. Sells the mirrors doesn't make a profit does know anything about the argument at the bar you've seen the atlas poster at college knows simon is on the atlas course hasn't discussed the menchie hasn't discussed the menchie hi sweetie do you want to go in your bed Whee! menchie's crying Has seen the poster at college. No, Simon is on the Atlas course. Hasn't discussed with Simon. Okay. Doesn't know the mask. Doesn't know anything about the broken window. Hasn't been to the pub in over two months. Doesn't know anything about the argument. Okay. That jives. Doesn't know the card. Traded his herbal tea for Simon's homebrew. Says Simon's homebrew is very strong. So is there anything else about the homebrew? Hmm. Didn't know about Simon's bike last saw Simon a month ago. When did he trade it? He traded it a month ago. <laughs> Can't remember the last time he saw Kate. Knew Kate through Simon's girlfriend, Emma, but didn't socialize with her. Doesn't know anything about the argument. Okay, I don't fit. I can't find any contradictions. Then she's, she's gone. She left the room, so no cat cam. Thank you. Probably be back Thank later. you. Okay, now we go back to the others. Is James Simon's cousin? I don't know. Maybe if we click in more, it'll confirm. Let's let's go to Simon. Uh, I'll ask you a couple more things, please. Fucking sleazy fucker, and he's like looking like this. Where is Ryan? That is a great question. Where's Ryan? Ever seen one of these? <laughs> yeah, that's one of James's. He's into like new age stuff, mysticism, magic spells, that sort of thing. He's nuts though. I mean, he thinks the government are tracking him or something. <laughs> Why would he think that? Well, I don't know, you'd have to ask him. Okay, we will. <laughs> Wasn't the bike from James? Is James his cousin? Like, that's like a family link, I'm not sure. But let's see. The bike belongs to Simon's cousin. Who is Simon's cousin? Is it James? Like, how can I ask what someone else said? Do you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, but replaying the answer is just like for me, right? Ever seen one of these? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's one of James's. He's into like new age stuff, mysticism, magic stuff. It's just like replaying it for me, not like playing someone else's answer for the other guy. Because how do I ask this guy about what the other guy said about the bike? Because if I go into the unlock bicycle, it's telling me what Simon said about what Simon says. Simon says. But I can't ask Simon what the the herb dealer said. <laughs> Unless it like comes up in its own thing like this. Thank you. Probably be back later. Have you seen one of these before? Is that from James? Now, what do you know about James? That he's creepy. <sighs> he was selling them last Friday at the market. There's, there's a market selling every week them. type thing. So you just and, them. Uh, I usually go there for lunch. So you wouldn't buy one of these? No, I wouldn't. But Kate would. Was she uh, into this sort of thing? No, I, I, I don't think so. She bought one, and uh, I went round to her flat to try it out. You're meant to see ghosts or spirits or something. It doesn't work. How do you use it? You're just meant to stare into it. Shall I show you? Go ahead. What, what was that lick? <sighs> okay, so you just. You just stare, stare like this, and uh, then you see. See what? Sorry. Um. <laughs> uh, look, uh, ugh, you just, you're meant to see a ghost or something. Look, it doesn't work. Didn't work, sir. You see Kate. You see your victims. Okay. Or don't you like see yourself? Cause like, you know, <laughs> I don't know. You know, like I, I would, if I had to guess, if you painted a picture black and then put it back in the picture frame, the plexiglass or the acrylic clear glass would probably reflect your own reflection back on you. Just a thought. I don't know. <laughs> it basically becomes a mirror, but like not as clear. Maybe. Okay, James was selling them last Friday, but James said he doesn't sell them. So how do I contrast that information? Do I have to go back? I have to go back to him with her answer? But like, they don't cross paths, you know what I mean? Like, I can't ask one character about someone else's statements, which is weird. She said she was home. James was selling them last Friday, but she left to see her parents, bitch! Okay, where was that? Aha. Uh -huh. So, you went so. home to see your parents on Thursday night, that right? Uh, yes. But you said you saw James at the market on Friday. He, um, no, I went to, um, I went to see my parents on Friday night. What time did you go on Friday? Um, eight or nine. And you didn't see Kate at all on Friday? Mm-hmm. No. You're not a very good liar, Emma. Oh! <laughs> okay. I saw Kate. Where? At the pub we were arguing. Go it on. was her! What were you arguing about? Boys. I, uh, I'd lent her 50 pounds because she was desperate and w we were just arguing. I, I, it didn't really bother me, she just didn't have it. And Kate broke the window? Yes. She, she did things like that when she was angry. Smash things? Yes. 
So it was Emma arguing with Kate. But why didn't she want to admit it? In case it gave her a motive or something else? Not just that, but now we know that Emma was with Kate more recently, like before she died. And I guess her alibi, like, I went to my parents on Thursday, was like part of her, like, I just wasn't around. But, Laya. Okay. Have I asked her everything? I think so. Now we go back to Simon. That's all for the moment. Thank you. This must be really confusing in this house. We just keep fucking going back and forth. <laughs> no? Okay, nothing else, nothing else. Be back later on, if that's okay. You should call the chief for an update. You haven't asked Rebecca about the black mirror. Okay, well, we're coming back for you, Rebecca. Fucking chill. Let's talk to our chief, which is here. <clears throat> Hello? Hello? Hello, Jenks? Yeah, Chief, I had a confession from Emma Bowman. It turns out she was arguing with Kate last Friday outside the pub. Kate broke the window. That's what the money was for. Uh-huh. What were they arguing about? Money. Uh. Emma says she'd lent some to Kate, but Kate hadn't paid it back. So Kate had money problems, so she broke a window and then paid Rebecca back for it. Something doesn't add up there, Jenks. It doesn't make sense, does it? No. Call me back when you know some more. Okay. Speak later, Chief. Yeah. Bye. We don't have we don't have the cell phones. There's no text messaging in Britain. D did you know that they don't have cell phones over there? I know it's quite sad actually. They have they just have no idea you know, what it's like in North America where we have cell phones. We can text each other immediately. They don't know about iMessage. No, they just they call their chief from the payphone. You know. All right, let's go see Rebecca. Poor Rebecca, no cell phone. Tragic. A few more questions, if you don't mind. Have you seen one of these before? Is it meant to be black like that? I think so. No. She said no. Is that a contradiction? Did she say anything else? I don't think so. I still wish we could ask her about the driver's license and the tape. But that's not an option. It's clearly the same fucking tape. Thank you. Yeah, we came Probably all the way later. to the pub for that. At least give me a free beer. What the fuck? There must be... Fuck. There's a contradiction somewhere. The game says do better. A uh, few more questions, if you don't mind. Yes, she said... Why is it supposed to be black? That's what she said. So she said she's never seen the black mirror before. I wonder if it's something like like one of these things that are is a contradiction. Like Kate gave Rebecca twenty dollars, didn't she? Didn't they say fifty dollars? But that that was a separate conversation that I I can't connect here. You know what I mean?
whatever, pounds, same thing. Well, not, but you know what I mean? Very drunk cape, but not bard. I thought we already clicked on that, but I will try. Kate was very drunk. I have like menchie hairs in my nose. That's what I'm doing. It's trying to get every menchie hair. There it is. It's stuck. <laughs> ah. Yeah, we have a $20 and a $50 report, but they're by two different people, so I can't cross-reference that. The money and the argument. Not really a contradiction though. We already did this one that that doesn't know who broke the window. She said someone told her about the argument. Then she said she heard the argument. What? Heard about an argument. Just click everything. <laughs> Just do process of elimination. <laughs> Last saw Kate at 7, but window broke at 6.30. Kate. No. This one is just hard. If it's red, it means it was already a contradiction. Broken window. Window broken. That's that's what we clicked on at 6.30. And then the 7 p.m. thing didn't do anything. It just, it just doesn't say 7 p.m. Can you click on the red? No, it's our, like it, it knows that we already won it. Okay, let's- uh, That's it for the time being, Let's Thank just you. see if there's something else to do. Fuck. <laughs> no. Give me a hint. Can I go to Atlas yet? Yes! We're doing it, we're breaking in. We're going to the cult. We give up. We wanna discover our full potential. Ryan was interviewed in the lounge, according to the report. Let's find that Ryan. Must be his office. Ryan! No. <laughs> what is this room? <laughs> this room reminds me of like... I don't know. 
when you're like 12 and your grandparents drag you to some historical museum and the rooms are extremely empty and the furniture is so small. <laughs> like, I don't know why this looks like something I've seen before. Maybe it's like a tour of old Ottawa parliamentary reserve buildings where someone special used to say that no one, that no one cares about anymore. Like, that's what it looks like. <laughs> and you're like, not supposed to touch anything. It's all roped off but it's just a giant fucking room with a big ass carpet and tiny chairs facing the wall. And white paint painted over all the electrical, like the knob and tube. <laughs> it does look like The Shining, like what is happening? Like I'm scared, like who is sitting in those chairs facing the wall? Must be ghosts. There's nothing to do here. What do I read? Where are the books? There is no books here. Liar. Can I use the black mirror? Can I use anything? Alice poster. I, I'm going to be a recruiter now. Well, I wanted to put on the mask. It wouldn't let me. Nothing works. How do I go upstairs? Okay, back to the lounge door. No! Oh. He doesn't open the door. There must be a contradiction, fuck! Tell me what it is! <laughs> yeah, I can't get to Ryan. There's no Ryan in the Atlas. Unless he's like over here. <gasps> Did we not go here? Oh my god. Christine, you dummy. Is that his house? Oh, we did go here. Behind Brandon house, but there was nothing to do. fuck was that? Like, it says Paul and Ryan, but I have no way to get to them. You know what I mean? Talk to Emma? Okay, we'll go back. A couple more questions, if that's okay. I'm really bad at my job, you see. Like, I'm quite confused. I'm going to need your help. Please help me solve crimes. I ha literally have, like, nothing new to ask her. <laughs> no! <laughs> Go back to James. Thank you. Okay. Probably be we're back going later. back to James. Maybe James has something new, actually, because we didn't go to him. As recently yeah good point good point uh james was somewhere over here in the farmhouse making his herbal tea a few more questions please thank you a few more questions like a million questions okay we've already asked everything but like surely there's a contradiction The, the selling thing, because he sold it at the market. But how do we use what another person said against him? Like, I don't understand. This game isn't really making me do what is intuitive to pit the players against each other and be like, well, actually, I heard from the lady down the block that you were selling that black picture frame. What do I do? This is not how detectives work. <laughs> you can only use what they say. Yeah. At 
Emma has the contradiction. Fuck, do we have to uh, go back? The moment. Thank you. We're like the worst detective I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> I am gonna return my criminology degree. That's how bad this is. It's it's just it's terrible. It's atrocious. Like take it back. Please revoke my degree. Emma. Ask you a couple take more it. things, please. <laughs> Okay, any this this is a group effort. This is a group project now. <laughs> this is not just simply play the game. No, no, no. I'm recruiting the chat. Group project, whether you like it or not. Have you been paying attention? What contradiction are we missing with Emma? Kate Bottomir. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Kate was broke, but was always buying new jewelry. I mean, I don't know. <laughs> go to the village hall. Okay, we'll we'll go we'll go places later. We have to find a contradiction first, apparently. She lent Kate money because she didn't have any. But with what money did she buy a mirror? How can Kate need money and still go to the pub? Well, like, you can get free drinks, you know, if you try. <laughs> okay, the money might be a good pathway to proceed. Mm -hmm. Follow the money. Okay, let's see. Let's find things related to money. Lent money to Kate because Kate needed it. And then knew Kate had bought a mirror. Oh. Well, it's not a contradiction. It's more like a observation. Fuck. Let's see what else we could do with the money. She says she didn't see her often. It's kind of a contradiction. So, with the jewelry thing, like, wh where does it say that she's buying jewelry? Hold on, let's find that. Kate bought lots of new jewelry. But see, like, that's not a... Uh -huh. What? So you lent money to Kate because she was desperate, but she bought loads of jewellery and things. So why were you lending her money? Well, no, it's because, um... I wouldn't call that a contradiction. What? Just, uh... It wasn't about money, was it, Emma? <laughs> no. Go on. What was it really about? We were arguing because she was going to blackmail Ryan, the guy from Atlas, over an affair he was having, and then tell his wife <gasps> if he didn't give her the money. T. Ryan's affair with Kate? No, I don't know. I think he was having an affair with another student and Kate found out. And why were you involved? Because I didn't really agree with it. I didn't agree with what she was doing, even if he did have an affair. Were you friends with Ryan? No, I'd never met him. You just thought Kate was wrong? Why do you care, mm, then, Not Missy? sure about this. Emma's either on a moral crusade, or there's another reason she was worried about Kate blackmailing Ryan. Because she loved Ryan all along. Okay. Be back now, later on, if Now, tell okay. Simon. <laughs> that's not how it works, but... So did I get a new, like, card after that discovery, or no? I want an affair card. Damn it. <laughs> okay, that's it for now. Thank you. Okay, that's it for now. Okay, I gotta call my boss. Chance. 
Yes, Chief. Surprise, surprise. More news. No caller ID. Turns out the argument between Emma and Kate wasn't about money. Uh. Apparently, Kate was going to blackmail Ryan Rand because she had information that Ryan was having an affair with a student. Huh. Emma was trying to talk her out of it. How did uh, Emma find out about it? Well, they were friends, so I presume Kate just told She's her. lying. Well, don't presume, Jax. They find out. If Emma was trying to talk her out of it, she must have had a reason. There's something missing, Jax. Find out what Emma had to do with it. Do your job okay, better. Bye-bye. Okay, the boss said do better. <laughs> the boss was literally like, what the fuck is this garbage? Find, find me the... Be an inspector. Go inspect things, okay? I don't want to hear about this drama. I want the answers. Stop calling me. Do your fucking job. Emma's still lying. Yeah, it's, it seems like that. So, can where can I talk to Ryan yet? If I try again? What is this garage door? What's this garage? Just a few more questions, if you don't mind. What are the new questions that I can ask her? There aren't any. Ben, did you clean the cat litter today? You'll have to spot the contradiction because I cleaned one of the cat litters, but not the other. <laughs> Which one? You'll have to find out. <laughs> I only clean Menchie's poo. <laughs> I don't know who's, whose poo is in the litter box? Which cat was spotted in which litter box? We have to solve the crimes. Was Menchie at Atlas last Friday night? Did she smell a little stinky? She did smell a little stinky. Cause I smell stinky. <laughs> no, I don't. You didn't put a bag in the litter locker? <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> no, there was a bag? I put it in the bag in the litter locker. I just opened it and put it in. Wasn't there a bag? <laughs> I mean, it wasn't me, okay? Was not me. I was streaming on the internet all day. <laughs> Didn't you see me? I have an alibi. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> Is it loose poop? Oh no! <laughs> I thought there, I <laughs> thought there was a. I swear I saw like the blue plastic. <laughs> I thought I was doing a good thing cleaning the litter. Sh shouldn't have cleaned the litter. Arrest me. Take me away. It was me all along. I let the poo run loose. <laughs> it was Menchie. Menchie knows what she did. First, she breaks my nail and then she poos right in the litter locker with no bag. Can you believe it? I, for one, cannot. I will be taking that little kitty to jail. Thank you. Probably be back later. We'll be back later. Okay. Where are we going? Back to Atlas. It's always Menchie. Okay, where the fuck is Ryan? Like, bitch. Come on. Detective doesn't have all day. Emma? Fuck. Emma's so useless. 
Emma again? Okay, back to Emma. Ask about a few more things, please. But what else do I ask about? I like Come on, chatters. If you're if you're gonna tell me to go back to Emma, you gotta actually participate. Okay? It's like saying, yeah, uh, work on the project. No, you work on the project. Where's your part? Okay? I already shoveled loose poo <laughs> in the litter locker. What did you do today? Contradiction with visiting seminar and not knowing Ryan. Finally, a chatter is helpful. <laughs> Has never met Ryan. But like, I mean, are all these things just contradictions or no? It's like not specific enough. It's never gonna be in the same thing. You said you went to an Atlas meeting with Simon. Yes. That's interesting because I happen to know that Ryan is the main lecturer at Atlas. But you say you never met him. <laughs> Why did you say you don't know him? Okay, I, I, need, I need to tell you something. I just need to make sure Simon doesn't find out. I won't be telling Simon anything he doesn't have to hear. And you can't tell Rebecca either. Go on. Okay, so the affair that happened was was between Ryan and I. Got him! I was having the affair, and Kate knew. So Kate was blackmailing both of you? No, she didn't care about me. It was part of the course, you see, having to take all these risks. She thought it was funny to turn her back on Ryan. She thought I wouldn't care. But you did. Why is it funny? Yes, I was already with Simon when Ryan and I, you know, and... I didn't want Simon finding out, and Kate thought that he wouldn't, but I didn't want her risking it. And then if Rebecca found out, then Simon would definitely have found out, and then it would have blown up and it would have just been a big mess. So you just argued and... what? <sighs> well, she just stormed off and broke a window. And that was it? You didn't see her again that night? This doesn't make sense. No. Are you sure? Yes. Seven p.m. Bitches. Seven o'clock. So Ryan's a bit of Lothario, is he? I think it's time I met this Ryan Rand face fuck to yeah. face. Fuck yeah! Hey cheater! Fuck yeah, Ryan! Let's fucking go! Let's go! Yeah, let's go! Or wait, where do I meet him? Here or at Atlas? Atlas. Ryan! Yes? Detective Inspector Jenks, I'm conducting an investigation in the area. Wouldn't mind asking you a few questions, am I right? Come in, Inspector. Thank you. That's a dead giveaway. Come on, man. You gotta hide it a little bit more. Just a little. Also, how old are you, sir? <laughs> <laughs> Drink, Inspector. I'd better not, eh? Hmm. Wait, who's cheating so with who? Speak to me. I believe that uh, Kate Vine was a student at Atlas. <sighs> Kate Vine? Well, yes, she was. <laughs> All of this has been thoroughly investigated, Inspector. It was suicide. You're telling me? Well, we have reason to believe there may be rather more to it than that. Really? Well, then in that case, I'd be prepared to assist in any way possible. Thank you. Pleasure. Give this man an acting career. <laughs> oh, my God. 
<laughs> I love it, especially if the like the request was act like really sketchy. Like I think that was the acting direction, you know, for the actors in this series. It's like we're going for cheesy. Do it. Look around. Be like oh, wasn't me. <laughs> like they're almost doing theater. <laughs> it's hilarious. Also, what is going on here? Kate is like 20 years old, okay? And he's like 87. Like, what's happening? <laughs> like, what? <laughs> like, he's not 87. I'm exaggerating. But you know what I mean. Okay, here we go. I believe the last time you saw Kate Vine was at the pub last Friday, then you came straight back with some of the students, is that right? Uh, yes, I like to have a glass of port or two after a long day, and benefits of being married to the landlady. How did she seem that night? The landlady? Kate. Oh, Kate. Uh, well, she was her usual self, drunk. That was usual. It was for her, yes. I mean, it didn't impair her ability, though. She was a very bright star, lots of potential, very enthusiastic. So she seemed to be enjoying the course? Well, as far as anybody could tell, yes. When did you first meet her? Uh, when she joined, about three months ago. And you hadn't met her before then? No. Yeah. So really... you didn't suspect there was anything wrong? Well, do you mean, did I expect her to drown herself? Of course I didn't inspect her. It was quite a shock. Nobody expected that. Sorry, and yeah, I said Kate. I meant Emma, who also seems to be like the same age as Kate, right? Okay, so he's like acting like whatever. She's just some student who drowned. <laughs> okay. Have you seen this before? Not that I recall. You don't know whether Kate had lost this or not. Uh, uh, no, I've, I've never seen it before. Sorry. He's gonna do that when he goes on trial, when he's questioned, and the and uh, the cross examination goes, "Have you seen this before?" And he goes, "No, <laughs> I have not." <laughs> and the judge, it's like order in the court. We are not doing theater. Does Simon Thompson ride a bike, do you know? I think so, yes. I, th I think he drives as well, but I might be mistaken. Oh, does he drive? Well, I, I don't know if we trust this guy. We're also not allowed to ask Simon about what this dude says, so that's not helpful. Have you tried Simon's homebrew? Does he make homebrew? <laughs> no, I haven't had the pleasure, sorry. That was a jab. He thinks it's just disgusting. Know what this is? Yes. It's a freedom necklace. Uh, it's a symbol that we use on the course. It's supposed to represent freedom from the chains of your ancestry. What? Have you ever bought one of these? I haven't, but I've seen the students wearing them. Freedom from the chains of your ancestry? Is this like when you get emancipated from your family? <laughs> like, what? What does that mean? You're just like, fuck my family! I'm going to university! Fuck him, okay? Here's my bird. <laughs> fuck you, parents! <laughs> I'm emancipating myself. Like, what? Okay. What do you know about the broken window at the back of the pub? Oh, uh, Rebecca told me about it. I don't know how it got smashed, though. I told her to tape over it. We can't have anybody cutting themselves. You have to be very health and safety conscious these days. <laughs> Why was that so weird? Told Rebecca to... So he told the girl who works at the bar to tape over it. Like, she couldn't figure that out herself? Can you tell me about this? Don't put it on. Haven't seen that for a while. I had a friend who used to make them for us for the course. He passed away last year. 
What does the uh, symbol mean? Uh, it's borrowed from paganism. It's the symbol of the triple goddess, the mother, maiden and crone, represented by the waxing and waning of the moon. Uh, it's an ancient symbol. It predates Christianity. Some people say that it dates back to Paleolithic times. And is that uh, relevant to the course? Well, no, no, no. I mean, it, it's a symbol <laughs> no. we, we dabbled with, but it's not particularly relevant. We don't use it on the course, no. You don't use it? I thought they literally have this in their fucking, like, meetings. What? It predates Christianity. How do they know that? How can you confirm this? <laughs> what documentation do you have confirming this? <laughs> and are you sure it's not a fish centipede? Because <laughs> it sure looks like a fish centipede to me. Just saying. <laughs> Tell me about this. Ah, oh, it's, uh, it's the first one we ever had made. We had it designed by an agency after we'd spent weeks trying to trying to find a name for this place. It took you weeks? Don't be like that, Inspector. I thought it was a rather grand name. Actually, if I'm being honest, I plucked it out of thin air one night in the George while I was having a few gin and tonics. Well, actually, somebody left a book and I stole it. Don't admit that, dude. What is happening? Do you know anything about an argument in the pub last Friday? What time? I believe it wasn't long after the pub opened. No. I usually leave for the manor house about six. Uh, I start preparations around 6.30. I like to get a head start. Okay. So he said he wasn't there. I'm gonna need to learn a ukulele? Why? What did I do now? Okay. What did I do now? Have you seen one of these before? I believe that uh, looks like a scrying mirror to me. You have seen one before? Hmm. Well, I, I, I used to have one myself, actually, along with lots of other bits and pieces of that nature. Silly things, you know. Really? Yes, I, when I was in my teenage years, <laughs> I had quite an obsession with that kind of thing. I, uh, I was a very somber child, uh, and, well, not that you could tell, always playing fantasy games, reading books about that kind of malarkey, you know. What sort of books did you read? Well, uh, books on black magic, <laughs> not the chocolates. <laughs> um, witchcraft, <laughs> satanic rituals, what? that kind of thing. I, I grew out of it, of course. But you're not into that sort of thing now. <laughs> of course I'm not. Uh, I mean, I don't need to believe in the supernatural, Inspector. The natural world is far more interesting. He did it. So? He became a serial killer. He's like, the natural murder is what world I want to live in. Yes, it's not just imagination. It is actual sacrifice of human blood. It's totally it. Him and Emma, they did it together. Okay. Surely there was a contradiction. But this will be tough. Emma said it was an unwanted gift. Maybe from Ryan or Simon, perhaps. He doesn't believe in supernatural, but he has the mask. Yeah, like he like said like, oh, I don't believe in any of that stuff. But like maybe he's just saying that so that he's not tied to anything. Cause like maybe some of it is related to the crime. And at least so far in our investigations, there's proven to be some string of evidence related to that. Maybe, maybe that he last saw Kate at the meeting last Friday, but he leaves to set up for Atlas meetings at 6.30. Hmm. That's a typo. Typo! Found a typo! Now I'm good at finding typos. Okay. After the anniversary box. 
It's a... Usuazuili. Us usa <laughs> There's a typo. We got him. We got the contradiction. It's a typo. You didn't have spell check in Britain. It's okay. We didn't have spell check in the 90s or in Britain. Now I'm distracted because I just <laughs> I found the wrong thing. <laughs> I'm looking in the wrong place. <laughs> okay. Usually leaves for Atlas at 6 p.m. and starts preparations for Atlas. So he was in the pub earlier? Is that what he's saying? And if we go to the argument? No. Oh, that is the argument. The telling her to tape it. No. Mm. Still, this still, I feel like this should be a contradiction. Like he said he was leaving, but we know that the fight didn't happen until seven. Unless, like, he wasn't there and he just called her up on the telly and said, Hello, yes, use tape. Seeing Kate at the pub on Friday. So, Kate was drunk at the meeting last Friday. Last saw Kate at an Atlas meeting. So, it was at the meeting he saw her. Okay, what about this, um, doesn't believe in anything supernatural now? Used to read about black magic and satanic rituals. Used to have a black mirror, but he says he doesn't believe in anything supernatural now. So is there anything else that contradicts that? Because he did seem pretty weird being like, oh, absolutely not me. I wouldn't put fresh poo in a little locker without a bag. No, I could never. Made by a friend who died last year. Who died? Thank you for cleaning it, Ben. <laughs> Wait, was it bad? Did I actually do that? There wasn't a bag? Ben? <laughs> there was like hardly a bag. What? Like why wasn't there a bag in it? No! <laughs> no, Ben, no! It wasn't me. It was not me. I was here. You saw me right here. I, it couldn't have been me. <laughs> Why wasn't there a bag? <laughs> now I'm going to blame him. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> I did an oopsie. You still don't know it was me. It could have been Ben. You're just blaming it on me. Thank you. Probably be back later. It's okay. Chat will have more questions. <laughs> Better see Simon again. Okay. We'll see Simon. And then we'll wrap it up and finish it next week. So let's do one last trip to Simon's. Simon says... There you go. Oh, he's, he's cooking. What are you making? What's for dinner? 
A girl dinner. Smells nice. What is that? Uh, chili pork. I have no idea you were a cook. Oh, no, no, I used to. Used to be more into it. No, I don't do it. He's so cooking much. human remains. Used to grow my own herbs and everything. Not oh, here. Uh, no, uh, at the farmhouse where I used to live. Oh, where was that? That's where James lives. Yeah, we used to share a house together. The farmer used to let us use a corner of his greenhouse to grow stuff. I didn't know you knew James that well. Well, didn't really get on. Where are the greenhouses? Well, it's just through the farmyard at the back. Interesting. What? Okay, we don't have anything new to ask him. Maybe Simon killed her because she told him and he found out and didn't want Emma to face repercussions. Could be. That's a really good speculation, Morin. Mm -hmm. He was like, not my girlfriend. Maybe he killed Katie because she hated his cooking. Could be. Mm-hmm. This guy, you know, it is interesting that all of his answers are like, I don't know anything. I went straight home. I don't fucking know. I don't know what this mask is. Ask Ryan and Paul. I don't know anything about the pub. I never go there. Maybe she wore a necklace. I make beer. <laughs> That's literally his profile. I don't know anything. I make beer though. Doesn't see James very often. Isn't that kind of... I don't think it's enough to be a contradiction, but... It's like he doesn't know anyone. All he does is make beer. Doesn't know about the license. Last saw Kate at Atlas. That's it. It's obviously him. Yeah, he makes beer, but no one drinks it. And he makes chili pork. It, it was Bentendo. He does have motive. He does have a distaste for Katie's. I think I think it could be Ben. It's possible. Don't set him off. Don't tell him that we're on to him. Okay? I've got the little locker covered. Literally. Because I just put the cover on after the poop went in. <laughs> Didn't socialize, but saw her at a bar. Hmm. Do we get that one? I don't think he saw her at a bar though, right? He said he wasn't there. Yeah. He says he never goes to the pub. And that he went straight home after Atlas, which he definitely didn't. Okay. That's all for the moment. Thank that's, you. That's all for the moment. Does anyone who plays this game know how many mo It's not really chapters, is it? Or um, I guess it is chapters, because there was like a 5 p.m., 6 p.m., 7 p.m. Do we know how many hours we spend in Britain <laughs> to solve the murder? You have to make it to 12 a.m.? Okay. Okay, that's like half then. I think you're about halfway. You go until midnight. Okay, actually that works then. So then we'll continue. This is not a posh English accent. Okay, I know, like it, it kind of, it has a mind of its own, my accent. Sometimes it's like quite fancy, it's time for tea. Yes, that would be quite nice. <laughs> but then other times it sounds a bit like this, like what the fuck are you doing? Okay, hey bruv, you know? It's fucking, what the fuck? Can't solve the fucking crimes now, can ya? No. <laughs> I don't know, you know? <laughs> Who put the poo in the litter locker? We'll just never know. 
That's more southern? What? What in the... What? <laughs> what part of what I just said sounds southern? <laughs> like, no. It got Australian? Okay, well, that I understand. That I understand, but not southern. Okay? That's a whole other accent. Absolutely fucking not. Don't even try me. You hear? <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. Crikey. Yeah, okay. I, I, I forget that word. Oh, Southern UK. Oh. <laughs> Duh. Obviously, I only think of like America. I'm so America brained. <laughs> I just assumed you meant like the South of North America. All right. Fun fact, southern accents actually evolve from British accents. If you speed up a southern accent, it will sound British, really? So, wait, they just speak slow? Is that what you're saying? That British people just speak much faster? And then, and then like, southern speakers just, like, said everything slower, and that's how they got their accent? Really? <laughs> I don't know the history. History check! I want to see a, a French game with French Canadian accents. <laughs> Do you? Do you really? People in Europe are like, please God, no. <laughs> no, Canadian French, no. <laughs> All right, let's end it there. Does this game save? Save game. Yes. Wait. What? Do I hit yes or save on this PC? Uh-oh. Oh, it says progress 19%. What? That's it? I don't like that. <laughs> How am I only at 19%? <laughs> no! Hit yes? Okay. I saved it. I think that means it'll save. Four more streams? Fucking A. That's crazy. There's no way. Guys, we're fucked. We we need to We need to step up. Oops. There we go. We need to step up our detectiving skills. Cause like we're not gonna make it. <laughs> we're like not gonna solve crimes. Oh my god, what are we gonna do? I'm- maybe- you know what I'm going to do? I promise that by next Wednesday, okay? This is me giving you my oath. Do they do oaths in British court? Who do they swear to? I guess the king now? Do they do that? I don't- I actually, like, I've never seen a British court. It's probably more similar to Canadian courts, though, because we also, you know, serve the Commonwealth, etc. Um, <clears throat> but, like, who do they swear to? And they're like, they, they do this thing, you know, before they testify. Is it the king? Do they say that now? What if you, like, don't believe in that? <laughs> You're just like, no. <laughs> I never understood that. I mean, like, I mean, I understand why people believe that that means, like, yes, I'm definitely telling the truth now, but, like, every, you know, people believe in different things, so. Their honor. Your mom. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's definitely what the court justice is asking. In, in America, it's often, like, do you swear on the Bible or whatever, but uh, don't they give you an option? They sh they're supposed to. I know they do in Canada. Like, you have an option. It doesn't have to be swearing on God, because, like, then there's, like, a bunch of people who are like, what? <laughs> then I can lie? <laughs> yeah, they give you an option. Just, like, tell the truth. You don't have to swear on anything. If you want me to swear, I'll just say, fuck this place. You know what I mean? Like, that kind of swearing? <laughs> you can swear on any book? Like, any book? Any book? What about this book? <laughs> what, 
what is this book, Ben? Like, is this a controversial book? Like, why did you bring me this? I have no idea. No? It's a mystery story. Not about the murder of a man's body, but about the murder and rebirth of a man's spirit. Okay. Burn it? Bad book. It's very controversial and bad. Makes sense why Ben has it. The words are so small. Like, what is this? <laughs> like, the, and like, this is the longest book I've seen in my life. Like, what the fuck is this? <laughs> she is controversial? Okay. I don't know. Don't know. Don't care about her. Respectfully. Or not respectfully. Whichever one. <laughs> Choose which one you prefer. I, I don't care. <laughs> You're disappointed in Ben because he owns this book? He's probably had this book for like 8 million years. It was probably given to him by a teacher. He's never thrown out any books. I would not take the fact that he has this book as like some kind of statement, okay? Not everything is a statement. But I have the right to demand it. I own your life. It's my property. My property by your own oath. That's the random page I opened it at. What? You swore to serve my happiness, not yours, mine. What have you done for me? You've given me nothing. You've sacrificed nothing. You've never been concerned with anything but yourself. Your work, your mills, your, your, I thought it said nails. <laughs> your nails, your talent, your mistress. What about me? I hold first claim. I'm presenting it for collection. You're the account I own. I don't like it. <laughs> I don't like it. Is it connected to the game? No, I think he, he just was like trying to be funny because the last name is the same. Uh, and it says Atlas like that. That's why. <laughs> but maybe it is all connected. It's all connected. This is about Emma, Emmer, and Mr. Ryan. Yeah, Atlas and Rand, it's all connected. And uh, that's just the way the story goes. And the cookie crumbles. And the crumpet crumbles, shall I say. It is alluded to as the inspiration for the name in the game, actually. Oh, I don't know. I was just like goofing on it. <laughs> like, I don't fucking know. <laughs> Crumpets fall apart. That's the point. <laughs> it's the way the biscuit crumbles. Yeah, Ben is just doing all the chaos. All right. So on that note, I'm, I'm going to go. I have some more swatching to do. Maybe. Um, there is no stream this Saturday because simply is doing things. You'll see later, not on Saturday. You won't see. Well, maybe if I Snapchat, but I won't be streaming. So yeah, we're skipping streaming on Saturday, but I'll be back on Wednesday to for a full review. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Think I have this much time? <laughs> no, no, we'll play more of this game next Wednesday. And if anyone wants to do their homework, and write in the comments after this VOD is up, then feel free to give us a recap. We love it when group projects go really well and everyone does just a little bit of homework. You're doing K-pop dances? Yes, that's actually what I'm doing on Saturday. I will be joining a K-pop group. Yep. <laughs> All right, everyone. Shout out to the mods and the Menchi gang and everyone who just came to hang out. And yeah, I'll miss you guys on Saturday, but I hope you have a good rest of your week and weekend. Play with your hollow taco when it comes in. Can't wait to see everyone's manicures. Definitely make sure you're using like hashtag hollow taco because I that's how I look through and find people's manis and like repost them in my stories and whatever. Or on Twitter or what is it called X? I never update the apps. So I actually don't know if they renamed it for real because I'm still using Twitter. That doesn't look like it's called X yet, but I don't know, because I'll just never update it. <laughs> Can I get around it by not updating it? <laughs> Good lord. They did? Okay, I'm just not updating. I don't want to see it. No. 
All right, everyone. Have a wonderful rest of your week. Thanks so much for watching, and I will see y'all later.